Hey, Hi, Tony. Hi, kids. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. I get to talk with you, and uh, it's, <laughs> it's such an honor. Uh, first of all, congratulations on Big Mood. What a touchingly funny show. Thank you very Thank much. You. That's so kind. Um, let me just get right into it. Uh, uh, Nicola, you, you've got such a background in theater and improv, and does that all come into play with, with this series? Massively. Uh, Camilla, who wrote the show, has been one of my best friends for like 15 years. We met at drama school to together doing a lot of improv, and she was just so funny and so sharp, and I immediately fell in love with her humor, her talent, all of that stuff. And I think the writing in this is so good and so natural and I think Lydia has said it before but it feels very real to us it feels very much like what it's like to live in London in your 30s mm -hmm. so it and it was nice to do something so naturalistic there's obviously heightened moments it being a comedy but it felt the dialogue was very easy to deliver I would say uh, Lydia talk to me a little bit about your character Eddie I mean she is uh a very, very interesting character. And in a comedy duo, she's kind of the straight man, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, well, Eddie, I don't know. She, it's just, she starts seeming just like kind of the rock to Maggie and the support behind Maggie. But as the series progresses, you kind of see her dealing with her own issues with anger and grief and fertility and romantic relationships kind of trying to navigate that and both of them actually I found really interesting the story is about their their friendship and the love story between two women and and which is which is so important and kind of the romantic relationships that happen with men are just kind of backstories and not <laughs> ever relevant and I I actually love that but um the way they kind of both chase men is interesting to to kind of fulfill them and to fit and I, I noticed that watching it again like Maggie in a, in a new every episode she's kind of chasing a new romantic partner that will fulfill her and make her feel whole again and it's her soulmate but then it's amazing that the story is just centered around their love story and that's where what it's what's really important to both of them um so yeah that's a bit about Eddie and their, 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 yeah. their, their, themselves <laughs> Maggie wow I mean this is a character that comes around maybe once every so often uh for an actress to take on a hundred percent like it, it, it as I said I didn't have to audition for the show which was lovely um but when I got the script, it's intimidating because like it's a gift. Like a, a show this well written, characters this well rounded, as you say, they don't come along often. But it's really scary because with Maggie, like it, it's such a journey, and the show goes from like episode one is a comedy with a little bit of drama, episode six is a drama with a little bit of comedy. But to like to do that journey is a lot and we shot the show in seven weeks which is not very much time to film a show um, but we had an incredible director called Rebecca Asher who'd worked on Arrested Development Brooklyn Nine-Nine she is stellar and so kind and lovely mm -hmm. but we you know we had to rely a lot on her and Camilla because when you're shooting a show we you, you always shoot out of sequence but this being so limited in the time frame it was like jumping from episode three to episode one to episode four in one day Wow. So we needed them there to like guide us and they did it so brilliantly. Uh, Lydia, what do you think audiences are going to take away from watching uh, Big Mood? I think people will be able to relate to the friendship. Uh, I think people hopefully will find it very funny and very touching. Um, I love that it explores bipolar disorder and um, the darker side of mental illness that we're not very familiar with, especially on screen and kind of how to how to navigate really dealing with a, a friend in Maggie, in Eddie's case, a friend who's going through um, a, a mania and kind of going on antipsychotic drugs and all these things that haven't really, I haven't seen on TV a lot of. Um, so I really hope people can relate to that and um, feel seen and heard by their story and their love story and just kind of be able to see themselves in, in that friendship and just fit, fall in love with them really, the way yeah. we did, yeah. I did. Nicola, same question. Yeah, I mean, it, it it's hard to know, like what, like you never know, I think when people watch stuff, what they're gonna take away from it. And I think that's part of like the joy and agony of making art is like, you're like, you make it, you invest heavily in it. You want it to be 
whatever you want it to be. But then when it goes out to the world, it, like the ownership becomes the the viewers that they have it. Um, yeah, the same. I think like it it. I hope it feels relatable in a way that I hope it makes people feel seen and not. It really. It's funny because Camilla's not a writer who sets out with you know the intention of like destigmatizing bipolar disorder. She wanted to make a funny, touching show. But I think it does far more than she even could fathom that she's written. Mm -hmm. Um, anyone that you know has seen it has said like, I just think this is going to open people's eyes. It's going to, mm -hmm. you know, because it's really it's a, it's a sad reality that most people at some point in their lives will experience depression or anxiety or, you know, many different things. But not a lot of people, you know, experience mania or, <clears throat> you know, antipsychotic drugs, all of this stuff. But that kind of thing. I think I, I hope people just go it's not abnormal to feel this way mm -hmm. it is what it is and also i hope people laugh i really do <laughs> i i laughed a lot you know but i also <laughs> cried a little too um it's, yeah, it's yeah. it touches every button that i think a a, a show like this should touch uh before i go um I, nikolai want to just uh, say wow what a voice actress you are i uh, i i love oh, you. thank you it's it's not an easy thing to do you know what? It's funny because I feel like I started out professionally at like 14, 15 in voiceover. Mm. So I always like, it's an easy in for me that I, if I find a character's voice, I'm like, everything else feels like it falls into place. Uh, but with Maggie, it's like, it was funny because it was the first time I got to use my own accent. So I felt like it was a bit of a cheat in a way. Mm. But then I was like, yeah, finding her cadence and stuff was a lot of the fun. But like Lydia said before, like, it's a really well written show. So it does the work for you and you're like oh i know how this needs to be mm -hmm. played that's fine i got i got this yeah and and i know both you and lydia are uh, are incredible singers and and uh, have great pipes so uh you Wait, know it's... How, how did you hear this oh, I, I, I do a lot of research uh, when he's home in the show and we sang in the car <laughs> <laughs> i do a lot of research i said um <laughs> and, you know you guys Music must play a, a an important role in in developing characters, I would think, uh, Lydia. Yeah, I I don't know where you've heard that I'm a great singer, but I, is I, it in the show? I, I can't sing. sing. <laughs> I, think well, I can't sing. I love music. I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get any musical offers. <laughs> um, no, uh, wow. music is. I, I think music. In this show especially like i love the score of the show Same. it feels so really like it just feels current and it just feels relevant and i think if you've ever been to london or you know kind of anyone from london especially east london it's very east london mm -hmm. and that's kind of the london i know so it was very easy to play with and yeah and i love the way the soundtrack kind of walks you through their moods and walks you through like what's going on in their life i think big mood does yeah that. and a lot of it was written into the script as well like camilla really likes to write with music in mind so even like reading through you're like this is the song that's going to be playing through this and it really it sets a scene so easily in your mind that you're like you get the tone of the show through that yeah the soundtrack is excellent it's amazing yeah yeah it's it's lovely i want to thank you both for your time this morning and congratulations again uh we'll thank we'll you. catch the show here on tubi it is just a a terrific funny touching series. Thank you. Thank Yay. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. See you later. Bye kids. <laughs>